Your eyes might be open, but are you really looking? Hey everyone, I'm Ben from the channel All Things Human. The world is filled with secrecy. There's more to our cities and towns than meets the eye. From hidden missile silos to concealed buildings, these are the most massive operations hidden in plain sight. Number six, disguised cell phone towers. If you are alive today and an active member of society, then you probably own and use a cellular phone. Historically, the towers that are used for connection are quite ugly. For the 320 million Americans living in the United States, there's some 317 million cell phones in use. And all of those cell phones require service in order to work properly. So then, why don't we see ugly cell towers everywhere we go, especially in metropolitan areas where space is limited? Well, they're hidden, and cell companies are getting good at disguising them. You, at some point, may have seen the cell towers that look like trees. Well, it's getting better than that. Now, crosses on or outside of churches may be aiding your cell service. Or maybe that giant cactus is connecting you to the mobile network. With buildings, and fake water and clock towers going up just to make sure you can get your text messages out in a timely fashion. The hidden cell tower idea is really starting to catch on and even changing the shape of certain cities. Number five, hidden oil rigs. If I asked you to tell me where the United States third largest oil field is, what would your guess be? You would probably say something like Alaska or Texas. Well, you'll be shocked to know that it is in fact located right in the middle of one of the busiest cities in the country. California's Wilmington oil field is not just in California, it's right in the heart of Los Angeles. Discovered over a hundred years ago, the field goes from the southeast to the northwest through the Los Angeles basin. The oil field runs from the middle of San Pedro Bay all the way through Long Beach. You're probably wondering, how is this even possible? LA is such a bustling city. How could they possibly maintain oil drilling in such a place? Well, hiding it isn't necessarily easy, but they squeeze oil pump stations almost anywhere they can. Baseball fields, behind shopping malls, heck, right on street corners. There are buildings unsuspecting residents walk by every day that as we speak are siphoning oil from the earth. All of this oil drilling is why Long Beach has been known as the sinking city. Oil production from the giant Wilmington oil field where nearly four billion barrels have been produced created a land surface subsidence bowl of up to 29 feet deep. This problem was considered to be fixed a long time ago by replacing the drained oil with water. But still, because of the damage done in the 50s, it requires constant monitoring. Who knows what potential unforeseen disasters could take place because of this drilling, and you wouldn't even know why it happened. Number four, government bunkers. The political climate throughout the world always appears to be a bit uneasy. It's always great to be prepared for the worst case scenario. Are you? Well, as it turns out, the guys and gals who run our government are prepared. Very well prepared. So much so that the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA as conspiracy theorists might know it, spent almost one and a half billion dollars building bunkers for government officials all over the USA in the 1950s. The most notable project was known as Greek Island. The federal government had struck a deal with the Greenbrier Hotel, allow them to build an immense underground bunker that would be used to house the US legislative branch in cases of devastating disaster. The project used a style of construction referred to as cut and cover, where ground is removed from the site to create a space in which to construct the bunker. The soil that was removed was used in the expansion of a nine-hole golf course and as a fill-in in a runway extension project at the local municipal airfield. This helped to prevent detection of the project. Sneaky. The facility was very well stocked, containing a dorm, hospital, massive kitchen, and even a broadcast center with seasonal backdrops 
to make it appear as if Congress members were filming in DC. All of these facilities had two foot thick reinforced concrete walls made to withstand nearby nuclear blasts. The project was eventually exposed by the Washington Post, forcing the bunker to be decommissioned in 1992. But who's to say if and where there are other super secret government fallout shelters? I can name a few off the top of my head. Number 3. Disguised Buildings All over the world in major cities as we have seen, there are an uncountable number of hidden operations, some large and some small. Here are a few buildings that have been put up for the world to see as just, well, buildings. In Chicago, there's a red brick mansion at a major intersection, and to a passerby, it just seems like a rich person's home. But in fact, the doors and windows don't even open. The light never shines through, and that's because it's a Con Ed electrical substation. The windows are actually air vents. In Brooklyn, New York, there's a brownstone building that doesn't stand out even a little bit, except that the windows are always blacked out. A pedestrian would never be able to tell that this building is actually a secret entrance for the New York City subways four and five train. And for some place a little more suburban, take a trip to Raleigh, North Carolina. There's a water pump house that is well disguised as a boring suburban home. Who knows how many people walk and drive by these places every day with no idea what's behind the walls. Do you know of any hidden buildings or structures in your area? Number two, underground homeless cities. This uh, operation is a bit less organized than any other previously mentioned ones, and it's weirdly harder to keep track of. Or maybe it's just the unwillingness to track it. There are several major US cities that have an entire network of underground channels, and they're oftentimes used as living quarters by communities of people. In fact, there is an estimated 200 miles of tunnels underneath the bustling city of Las Vegas, Nevada, and people have set themselves up with some unbelievable living spaces. Some of the tunnels have been fashioned with large beds, wardrobes, and even artwork on the walls to make the place a little more like home, and a little less like a sewer. There are also accounts of people, rats, and ninja turtles living underneath New York City. Some of the accounts go as far back as 1904 when the original subway system was being built. Many of these accounts have actually been proven, such as the Amtrak Freedom Tunnel, where an entire community of people was living. Who knows what cities aren't housing giant communities right underneath your feet. Number one, missile silos. Originally, missile launch facilities, or missile silos, were built right out in the open, but then, Russia launched Sputnik into orbit and thus began the Cold War, which made the US a bit nervous. So these silos were moved under the Earth. During the Cold War, it was believed that there were about a thousand active silo missile bases, and now that number has decreased to somewhere about 500, although we can't be completely certain as their whereabouts are kept top secret. Speaking of things hidden in plain sight, You'll never guess what researchers found inside of this thousand-year-old Buddha statue. Join me as we look at the most incredible secret discoveries on all things human. I'll see you there.